Hello everybody, Sir Phobos here, playing some more Subnautica, uh, surviving and thriving out here. Um, so yeah, today we were going to do uh, the moon pool, um, and build the uh, Seamoth upgrade panel and all that good stuff, uh, so our Seamoth can uh, do more stuff. Uh, a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. Um, now, to get the uh, Seamoth upgrade panel... You have to come out to the Grand Reef, uh, which can be a little tricky. Uh, it's a rather deep zone. Uh, let's see if this is hey, exactly what I was looking for. Moon Pool Fragment. Um, the, the Grand Reef is going to be... It's the left-hand corner of the map, the, the southwest corner. Um, and you'll know it when you get there because you'll see all these floating balls and these weird weird things <laughs> um, but it's it can be a little tricky to get to if you're using the coordinates um, let's see uh, I'm at negative you know 300 negative 800 negative a thousand you know right around there I'm at I'm at the edge of the thing um, also the that floating island is here too. So, you know, if you have the signal to the island, you know, it's really, it's right below it. <laughs> now, otherwise, you can kind of skirt around and try to get there. Um, I was actually pretty lucky. I, I was poking around with the sea moth before I had the cyclops, and I found the Grand Reef and was able to get all the moon pool fragments uh, just along the edges in safer areas. Um, you know, if you, I'm actually... I was past the crush step there, but um, if you come back this way, you can see there's there's ledges here, still within the safe zone, um, and you can take you can take the sea moth through here, skirt around. And you might be able to find them. You know, if not, you got to build the cyclops, and you you got to build the the pressure compensator so you can take it deeper, and explore. Because um, I think you need four fragments to build the moon pool. Um, yeah. But out here you also find an abundance of uh, the basalt fragments, or uh, uh, chunks, the little rocky outcroppings. Um, you'll find a lot of gold and diamond that way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sooner or later it won't give that message anymore, I bet. They'll, they'll fix that in an update. Uh, once you get the uh, the compensators, but yeah, and of course, when you know you're safe personally, see more moon pool fragments. They're they're abundantly out here. You won't have to poke around too much, and it's actually a relatively safe zone. There's not a whole lot out here that wants to kill you. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still find bone sharks out here. Come here, I want you. Um, so be mindful of that. But you should hear them, you know, roaring and flying around if they're gonna start bugging you. And then, of course, if of yeah. you you gotta be mindful of that. Your oxygen drains quickly when you're in the red <laughs> for depth for your personal. Um, but yeah, uh, you do find uh, a lot of quartz out here and a couple other things. Um, not even can I have, what is it called? Components that we're not going to use right now. Um, no, it's not the Magnemite. I don't think. Uh, if I'll see any, I'll grab it. But there's there's new components out here. You know, so feel free to pick it up. Just have it in your back pocket. You're out here. You might as well, all right? And you can explore around a little bit. Um, it's not the easiest zone to explore in the Cyclops. Just you know, the Cyclops is terrible itself for exploring. And you know what, I will actually, while I'm here, I'll remember, I'll drop a beacon so it's easier to find in the future. Um, yeah, because the Seamoth is kind of a pain in the ass to use sometimes, or uh, the Cyclops, to get around in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to see in it, I guess. <laughs> 
So, I mean, just do your best, obviously. Boop. Alright, let's set this guy up here. Uh, edit. Grand Reef. Now, it should be a lot easier to find if we ever have to come back here. But yeah, so you, you'll just poke around, you'll get the fragments, and then you'll get the blueprints for the moon pool. Uh, now, you'll already have the blueprints for the Seamoth Modification Station, you just have those. So yeah, uh, you can see it's it's actually not that hard to build. Uh, it takes 40 titanium, 4 lubricant, and an advanced wiring kit. Uh, so not hard. It's all stuff that we should be able to make now. And then the modification station, you know, two titanium, glass, and two computer chips. All pretty easy. Yeah, so once you grab your fragments, we'll head back to our base here, and we will uh, set it up. So I will, I will fast travel back to the base here for you guys, and we will uh, get that building. Alrighty. So we're back at our base. Uh, we got the blueprints. Now... Well, yeah, after you build everything, we just gotta figure out uh, where we want to put it. Oh, that's pretty big, huh? Oh, okay. I can just jet off the side there. That's not too bad. That's a good spot, right? Yeah. Uh, one thing to note, it does do minus 5 to hull strength for your base. So you know, make sure you have ample hull strength before you, you build it up. And let's see if we can't. Hmm. I think I want to get a way to connect it to the base. I don't know, I'll figure that out. Alright, so here here's your moon pool. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And let's build our modification station. Uh, where's that go? It's right here. No. Go on the other side. No. Oh, okay. It goes against the wall. <laughs> um. Yeah, right there. It's fine. Nice. Nice. Oh. A little fabricator there. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Build pressure compensator. That's the big one that we need. Uh, power efficiency. Solar charger. Storage. Perimeter defense, torpedo system, sonar, and hull reinforcement. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, yeah. Finally. So, this is the big one here is uh, the pressure compensator. That's what we want. Uh, just because it's hard to explore those deeper areas in just the Cyclops. <laughs> um, but uh, I know the exciting one here is the torpedo system. And then uh, throwing some torpedoes on the steam moth, give it some ability to actually fight uh, some of the bigger fish. I know you can use them against the the what you call it uh, Leviathan, but they aren't super effective because <laughs> um, uh, they're they're hard to land to hit. Uh, you know, I'll I'll throw some upgrades out there. We'll we'll talk about them and show them off, but. Um, yeah, they're they're good against the uh, the medium sized fish, the aggressive fish. You know, like your bone sharks and sand sharks. Uh, which one calls like that? They'll beat them up. Oops. Sorry, Sima. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna repair you real quick since I'm being a dummy. Bump it in the stuff. There we go. Nice shiny new Sima. All right. Yeah, that'll work out fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
And then just like the the other dock, it'll automatically pick up your seamoth. Oops, I'm just gonna fall in the water anyway. Um, when you do build the upgrades and plug them in, you'll you'll have this little panel right there where you can put them on. You can do this out in the water too. That panel's there. You just have to you know scroll over it, uh, and you can put four upgrades into the seamoth. Yeah, so that's exciting. We got our moon pool. We're gonna do stuff to the seamoth. Uh, I, I'm not a hundred percent certain what yet, uh, but we'll figure it out. Um, and then I'll, I'll show off the upgrades, show what they can do, stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to connect this to my base. So yeah, but we'll uh, we'll pick it up in the next one um, and talk about you know the different upgrades and plug them in and see what they can do. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in next time. Goodbye.